myself a merry little Christmas night. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a pack peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and tied with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose, then sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the dam of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim that he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.
Sand Boy, with all his might of wonder. What's today, my fine fellow? said Scrooge. Today, replied the boy. Why, Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day, said Scrooge to himself. I haven't missed it. The spirits have done it all in one night. They can do anything they like. Of course they can. Of course they can. Hello, my fine fellow. Hello, returned the boy. Do you know where the poultry is in the next street but the one in the corner? Scrooge inquired. I should hope I did, replied the lad. An intelligent boy, said Scrooge. A remarkable boy. Do you know whether they've sold the prize turkey that was hanging up there? Not the little prize turkey, the big one. What, the one as big as me? Returned the boy. What a delightful boy, said Scrooge. It's a pleasure to talk to him. Yes, my book. It's hanging there now, replied the boy. Is it? said Scrooge. Go and buy it. Walk, uh, exclaimed the boy. Well, I